What if a group of students wanted to share their ideas and collaborate on a school project? Without having to be in the same classroom or even the same country, they could work together on a shared wiki, learning whilst in the process of contributing. Wikis can have many advantages in education. Wikis are great in education because they democratise to a degree the classroom. They make a classroom less necessarily teacher focused and bring it onto the students or if you will everybody in the class. So rather than if you think about it uh, being a teacher standing at the front and there being a row of chairs behind it, a wiki is much more like a big round table at which the teacher is one participant who might be facilitating but isn't necessarily leading. I think the advantage of uh, wikis in education is that they probably promote uh, group work and I think uh, a Group work is an important aspect of education. Recently, as part of a Net Generation Education project called Net Gen Ed, students from six countries, including the US, Australia, India, Canada, Korea and New Zealand, built and collaborated on a wiki together. Wikis can be an exciting tool to encourage such cross-cultural collaboration. Wikis are a great way to compose resources, and especially shared resources. When I was working at Deakin University, for example, um, in the education faculty, we got trainees teachers to put together their different lesson plans that they were working on in their different schools into one wiki so they could share them with each other. One example uh, of using a wiki, uh, and this is uh, from my experience uh, in, in higher education, is if you're actually uh, writing a, a written report or a, a scholarly paper. And um, if you have a certain number of people that are collaborating on this written work, right, then a wiki uh, forms an ideal way in which you can track who contributed what and who's not pulling in their weight and so forth. So if a group of students collaborated on a project using a public wiki and the information they discussed was incorrect, how would they know that the information they were discussing was wrong? Unless somebody edited and corrected their wiki, they may never find out. If the same scenario happened in a classroom wiki, then the outcome might be different. Classroom-based wikis are quite different from public wikis. Well, a classroom-based wiki would usually be a private environment where students and teachers could collaborate on forming resources or documents. I mean, a great example of how you could use a wiki in a classroom would be to put together, say, a recipe book. If students were looking, say, for example, in a home economics class to uh, put together different recipes and uh, different hints and tips around an area, they could each submit a different page onto that wiki with different recipes on it, and then a group of students or the teacher could then bring them together into one index, and they could pop into each other's and add hints, add tips, correct any spelling mistakes and so on. It's a great idea.